when the storm came. Fortunately for me, I was visiting my daughter in Florida. For the first night, I slept in the car. And I walked down the street, and it felt like I was walking through the city of Nuremberg after the war with just piles of garbage on both sides of the street. So I walked in, it was like just walking big steps over all the garbage because everything that could float, floated. I saw a brown coating, which actually turned out to be human waste. So the first thing was to try to decontaminate. The more I tried to salvage, the more I realized it had to go. We actually gutted the entire house. So there was nothing but bare walls, bare floors. I spent another year pulling out all the floors. I was kind of burned out physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. But I think I was at my lowest point. And a woman from Reach Global uh, walked over. She listened to a little bit of my story, and then she said, really, we can be of some help. We, can, we have crews coming in. But little by little, one crew came, the next crew, and I was around a lot, and I was active with them. Sometimes with tragedy comes big benefits. You started to see something that was a, a kind of a void in my life. The, the help that I got from the folks and the materials that were delivered, furniture, appliances, and whatnot, was greatly appreciated by me. But when people ask me, what is the real story? The real story is my connection to God. It wasn't just about the labor. It wasn't just about the material. It was about the relationship. And I'm in a much better place, position today than ever before. And it was because of the storm. I received a totally awakening. And uh, I'm on a journey, which is a pleasure. And the journey for me is I'm, I'm eager to continue the journey. And I believe Rich Global is responsible for that. But uh, where I am in connection to the Lord is the best place I've ever been. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.